making his way to the cage in our third fight of the night here at Cage Aggression 13, giving back Jake Childers, representing Central Illinois Combat Club and Peoria, Illinois. I know we've seen uh, Jake before. Um, whenever you see someone of the stature of Bob Long in his corner, you know what type of fighter you're going to get that's going to come into the cage tonight. So um, he's just going to continue up and, and, and live up that reputation that, that Bob has already put forth. Right, and coming off of a loss, a big title loss, Brent Lee, I know Jake really wants to get back in the cage and uh, show that, that he's, he can learn from that. And that's a big thing that we talked about earlier in the week. What do you do after the loss? Do you, do you come back and, and go harder, or is that the first of many? We'll find out pretty soon here. Cage Anthony Olalde out of Conquest MMA Ground Wizards Jiu Jitsu and Clinton, Illinois. I know that we've uh, had the opportunity to see him before, um, and when I had a chance to talk with him before the fight, saying that his weight cut went really easy, really well. How important is it to have your weight cut go well? So important. Great foreshadowing of, of good events to come if the weight camp, if the weight cut goes well. Um, and, and that's one less thing you have to worry about. You're healthy, you're not dehydrated, you're not starving, uh, you've just done your body well, and usually that pays dividends. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cajun Aggression Amateur Phantom Weight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 143 pounds. He trains with the Central Illinois Combat Club. Joining us from Peoria, Illinois, Jake Childers. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall, and weighed in at 135 and one half pounds. He trains with Conquest MMA and Ground Wizards Jiu Jitsu. He's sponsored by Preston Telephone Company. Joining us from Clinton, Iowa, Anthony O'Rourke. We 
are ready for our third fight here at Cage Aggression 13. Jake Childers versus Anthony Olalde. Olalde in the black trunks with green trim. Childers in the camouflage. Childers really looking like he's waiting, and he shoots, looking like he's really waiting to land something up top right. before he shot. Nice takedown right there by Childers. And Olalde's already got Childers in, in a uh, guillotine attempt. Looks like it's very, very deep. Yeah, pretty deep. Trying to control uh, Childers' arm too. And there's what he needs to do to get out of it. Uh, get, get his neck, get, get right. Olalde's neck too a little bit, so keep calm. Right, stay heavy, kind of try to stretch um, right. his opponent out a right. little bit, even from the bottom. Right here is kind of that stalemate position where uh, even Childers, uh, excuse me, allow they could reverse and get on top, but both fighters seem to stay uh, content where they're at. Big push off from uh, Olalde. Jake looking to go right back in. Something sort of, you know, um, underrated is how he dropped that knee when, as he came in. Right. There's Childers again looking uh, looking to get real tight to the body, too, and, and try to trap that right arm of Olalde. Do something with it. Can't quite get it. Uh, Olalde doing a good job of, of sticking tight to him from the bottom. A lot of, a lot of people think that just because you're on the bottom, you're, in, you're uh, not going to do as well, but that's not the case most of the time. And a lot of times people don't consider the amount of energy that's being expended by the person who's on top as opposed to the person who's right. on the bottom a lot of times. Right. And I like how Olalde is keeping his uh, forearm in the neck of Childers too uh, to keep him away from him. That hurt, that extremely a lot of pain right there. Um, and right now looking for an arm crank. Uh, got him almost in a darts choke. Huh. Real tight wow, and he's really gonna tight. tap from this. It's very tight. Childers has got him so tight right now and I can't imagine Oh my gosh, it's so tight. They're yeah, really trying to kick off the cage right now. To, right to now, get free. Childers just needs to squeeze, be patient, squeeze it right now, uh, but doesn't want to expend all the energy out of his arms. And Olalde doing a great job of just staying in there and being calm. But I mean, from our angle, he's in a lot of pain. Right, and you can see a little bit of a, of a pocket in uh, Childers' arm, and that's yeah. what Olalde's using. He tapped right there, Childers. Yeah, ex Olalde tap. There's, there's only so much time that you can. Can, can handle something like Big that. Big neck crank, I mean, just cranking on the neck. And uh, sometimes you don't even, it's not even is that you're going out, it's just, it's a pain. Right. You're, you're cut, your nerves are being cut off, your arteries are being cut off, and uh, your neck feels like it's gonna pop off of your shoulders. Great, great job uh, from Jake Childers there for the win.